The year is 1783. West Virginia is a wild frontier. Settlers like the Clay family brave the dangers to build new lives. Mitchell Clay, his wife and their children carve out a homestead on the shores of a beautiful lake. Little do they know their idyllic life will soon turn into a nightmare. One day, a band of Native Americans descends upon the unsuspecting family. The reason? Retaliation for the settlers encroaching on their sacred land. The attack is swift and brutal. Mitchell Clay is killed defending his family. His wife witnesses the unimaginable, her children slaughtered before her eyes. The surviving Clay children are taken captive. Their fate remains a mystery to this day. The lake, once a place of tranquility, is now stained with the blood of innocence. The spirits of the slain, unable to find peace, are said to roam the land, forever seeking retribution. Decades pass, the horrors of the Clay family massacre fade into local legend. In the 1920s, a new chapter unfolds at the haunted lake, an amusement park, a beacon of laughter and joy is built upon the very ground where tragedy once struck. Families flock to Lake Shawnee Amusement Park, eager for a day of fun. They are oblivious to the dark history that lingers beneath the surface. The Ferris wheel towers over the land, its colorful lights a stark contrast to the shadows that lurk in the woods, but the land remembers. The spirits of the past are not at rest. As children swing on the swings and shriek with delight, unseen eyes watch from the shadows. The air grows heavy with a sense of dread. The joyous atmosphere is tainted by an undercurrent of unease. Tragedy strikes again. A young girl, her laughter echoing through the park, falls to her death from the Ferris wheel. The crowd watches in horror as her lifeless body crumples on the ground below. The park is forever marked by this horrific event. More accidents follow. A swing set collapses, injuring several children. Whispers of a curse spread like wildfire. The once popular amusement park empties. Laughter is replaced by fear. The rides stand silent, rusting under the weight of their grim history. The park closes its gates forever in 1966. The ghosts of Lake Shawnee, it seems, have claimed their territory. The land reverts back to its eerie silence, haunted by the memories of laughter, screams, and the spirits of those who perished there. Section 4, Phantom Laughter and Spectral Shadows. The Ghosts of Lake Shawnee, Lake Shawnee. Amusement Park stands abandoned, a rotting testament to tragedy, but the spirits of the dead still linger. Visitors report chilling encounters with the other side. They hear the phantom laughter of children, their voices echoing through the empty park. Cold spots send shivers down spines. Invisible hands push and shove. The air grows thick with the scent of decay and despair. Shadowy figures dart between the trees, their eyes glowing with an eerie light. One of the most frequently sighted apparitions is the ghost of the young girl who fell from the Ferris wheel. Her mournful cries pierce the silence. She is seen wandering the park, searching for something she lost. Section 5, Dare to Enter. Paranormal Investigations and Unexplained Phenomena. Word of the hauntings spreads. Paranormal investigators flock to Lake Shawnee, drawn to its dark energy. They come armed with EMF readers and EVP recorders, hoping to capture evidence of the supernatural. Their instruments go haywire, picking up spikes in electromagnetic activity and disembodied voices. Cameras capture strange anomalies, orbs of light, shadowy figures and unexplained mists. The evidence is undeniable. Lake Shawnee is a paranormal hotspot. Psychics and mediums claim to communicate with the spirits trapped within the park. They tell stories of restless souls seeking peace, their voices filled with sorrow and anger. The veil between the living and the dead is thin at Lake Shawnee. Section 6, A Legacy of Terror, Lake Shawnee's Grip on the Imagination. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park remains abandoned. Its rides are frozen in time, slowly decaying under the weight of their tragic past, but the stories of the hauntings live on, passed down from generation to generation. Some dismiss the tales as mere folklore, others believe. They say that if you listen closely, you can still hear the laughter of children echoing through the empty park. But it is not a joyful sound. It is the laughter of the dead, forever bound to the land that claimed their lives. Lake Shawnee stands as a chilling reminder that some places are forever marked by tragedy. It is a place where the past refuses to stay buried, where the boundary between the living and the dead is blurred. Dare you visit Lake Shawnee and experience its horrors for yourself?